in this color retouching video, I'm going to do an update again to show the difference between Camera Raw for Photoshop 2020 and the new updated interface for Camera Raw in Photoshop 2021. Okay, our main goal is to make this photo look presentable. They're looking very orange. It's an indoor shot and it's a dark room. Okay, this is not a great photo. How can they be so bright if they're standing in a dark room? So I'm gonna go to image menu, adjustments, and I can't do auto color like I did before because there's no gray in this image. This actually made them look more like the Simpsons. This is making them look more yellow. So I'm gonna go to edit and undo. Okay, again, the nature of the color editing you're gonna do is based on what's in the photo. If there is no gray, I can't use image and auto color like I did with the hard drive of the computer before. It is the same indoor shot, but there's no gray. It's also a little more orange than yellow. So when I tend to see more orange in a photo, I go to image menu, adjustments, photo filter. Okay, but before I even do that, I'm gonna click cancel. Remember, this is your master copy of that photo. So what I would always recommend is Command J first or Control J on a PC. Duplicate your layer before you start messing around with your photos. Now I have a copy and now I can start doing my editing. Image menu, adjustments, photo filter. The default photo filter is to warm up values. It's set up for photographers who shoot on a cold or cloudy or overcast kind of day. You want your colors to be a little more warm. In this case, I want the opposite. I want to cool down all that orange. So I have three of them to choose from. I'm going to start with the first one. It looks okay. Go with the second one. They look a little too pink. And the third one looks really good light light blue will counteract light light orange these work on the theories of the color wheel the opposite of blue would be orange those are contrasting colors so they cancel each other out i'm gonna click ok now i've got more natural skin tones but why are they in such a dark room so again i go to image menu make adjustments to the shadows and the highlights that's like flipping on a light switch in the room. And now I can see there was a whole other kid running around back here. So I can make adjustments, maybe change my radius right here, see what that does to the values. And let's see if I get some good shadows going on here. I kind of, you know, if I go too far, they look a little too washed out. If I go back to the left, I get a little more contrast in the people. So I'll make some fine tuning adjustments right there, almost about midway. And I like that. I'm not gonna mess with anything else. I don't want to adjust my highlights cause that's gonna get rid of them and they're gonna look like they have really bad skin rashes. I don't want color adjustments cause then he looks like a candy corn. So we'll bring him back down to the default of 20, somewhere around there. Uh, don't want to push my midtones because then it just looks like a Photoshop filter. And if you ever do any of this stuff and you forget where it's at, you can go and hover over the cancel button, hold your option or alt key and click reset. Then you just make your changes again. Okay, we'll drag this over a little bit more. I like that. Maybe add a little bit of mid-tone. There we go. And this looks really nice. The only problem you're going to have with your photography is if you photograph like this in a dark room where the camera can't capture a lot of detail, when you lighten a photo, Photoshop is going to add detail that it thinks should be there. That's going to be called noise or JPEG artifacts or grain. So when I zoom in on this wall right here, that wall looks terrible. 
looks really grainy. I can see spots of bluish greens and red blotches there. Nobody's going to paint their wall with blotches and grain. Looks like sandpaper. I want my photo to be nice and smooth. You can see all the graininess of this photo. Looks bad. So what I'm going to do is go to filter, camera raw filter. And I'm going to zoom in again right there. One click will zoom in. I'm going to come back to my detail panel. Again, I want to look at noise reduction. So I'm going to drag this to the right. And that's going to start to smooth out some of those areas. I'm going to drag it pretty high, maybe around 75. It's looking a lot smoother. Uh, detail, want to drag that down a little bit. Don't want to go too far, so let's maybe go around 40. Contrast, I don't want this to come in because then we're going to start to see blotchiness here. So I want to leave the contrast alone. But now I get blotches of blues and red spots on my image right here. Reds and blues and greens. That looks bad. So now we're going to expand upon that and come down to the color noise reduction. These color spots. And I'm going to drag that to the right. And look at that. They just totally disappear. That is awesome. If I drag it a little more, I think I, I would go 30. That looks really smooth. Detail, drag it to the left and right, see what that does. Eh, I don't really think that did anything, so let's just keep it there. But that's good. I'll drag my color noise reduction. Let's click and zoom out. Looks really nice. Maybe I can add a little more contrast now because that'll also combine with these other settings. Zoom back in. This looks really clean. And I'm going to hit P for preview. There's the photo, that horrible photo I started before. Tons of texture and grain. Hit P for preview. Look at the difference right there. That is amazing. And I'll click OK. There we go. Now I've got a nice photo suitable for presentation. They're not orange. They're not in a dark room. They've got nice, subtle skin tones, a well-lit room. It's not a grainy photo. And that's how you touch it up using photo filters right here. Image adjustments, photo filter. When you have a photo that has a little more orange to it. You've also got the new update to Camera Raw, so you can be a Photoshop professional. All right, I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.